In this video, I will show how to make use of Codasys visualization instances and the placeholders. So I'm just going to create a new project here, and uh, PLCPRG is just going to be a blank project. I'm going to create a custom data type um, called pumps, and we're going to have a two bits here, a, a running and a fault boolean. And I'm going to create a global variable. Uh, it's actually going to be an array called pump with 10 elements of that same custom data type pumps. So each one of those pumps has a running and a fault bit. Uh, create my standard uh, PLC visu. And here's where we're going to create our pumps visu. And that's what we're going to actually um, serve as our template for our controls. I'm just going to put uh, two simple objects here. One to indicate running, one to indicate false. I'm going to give it a color for yellow on the running. And here's where I'm going to put the pump um, variable and then I'm going to use a, a dollar sign num dollar sign and that num can be any variable um, name it's a placeholder so I'm going to go ahead and copy that object and this I'm going to tag to the fault instead of the running and I'll change the color to red instead of um, yellow so we're using that placeholder to um, index the um, element of the array in this example here. Reposition that. Here we're going to click this button um, which creates a window and um, and then it pops up with visualizations you can select and that's what's creating the instance of that pump visu. And then you have to build to uh, populate that screen. So um, you can see here we've got this um, pump array and now we have one instance of that pump visualization. We can go in to the visualizations and click placeholder and here's where we can replace that num with some other um, value. So we're going to put a one there to uh, reference our first array element. And I'm just going to cut and paste a couple more of these just to show how this works. And then I'm going to go into each one and change those to reference the other pumps. And um, So anywhere we use that dollar sign num is being replaced with a, whatever we put in that um, replacement field. So I've got the first four and then I'll just do the tenth one just to show um, that they all are in fact working. And I'm just going to go online in simulation mode and you can see I can click each one. Um, I'll just expand uh, a, a few of these array elements so you can see that it is in fact uh, changing the respective bits. Um, so the first and third pumps you can see are changing and another big time saver is uh, if you make changes to the template, it'll automatically update all the other instances of it. So here I'm just going to change the yellow to a blue on the template, and then when I build it, it updated all of those um, individual items. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.